Good morning. I'm Bruce Evanson from Suncoast Fly Fishers. Today we're going to tie another fly for you. And what I want to tie this morning is going to be the backwater snook fly, which is this fly right here that I'm going to tie for you. I'm going to put it here so I can look at it while I tie. And what we're going to start with is a 3407 size one hook. Get it mounted in the vise here. And then I'm going to use black flat wax nylon. It's always got the green label on the end. And I'm going to tie it. I'm going to wrap it here from the hook eye all the way back to the hook point which is where I am now. Let me trim off my tag end right here. Now, first product that I'm gonna put on is I'm gonna put on some black marabou. So we're gonna take the marabou and decide how much of this we want. I want about an inch, which would be about right there. So I'm gonna take that and I always cut it off before. So I've clipped that off. Got my marabou here. And I'm going to lay it right down on top of the shank. Give it two wraps lightly. And I'm going to work the marabou around the shank of the hook. So I get it nice and even all the way around. Which I have there. Now I'm going to tighten this down. And... Give it a good wrap on so it's nice and snug. Now I have that. The next step we're going to go through is I'm going to add some uh, gold flash on here. I usually take about two or three strands. So I've got three here. And I'm going to take the gold and bring it underneath and up to my thread. And I'm going to line up the two sides right here. Bring it down on top. Put a couple wraps. And when I wrap here, I'm not wrapping over the gold. I'm just wrapping around the hook shank to get it tightened down. Now I'm going to let these go and get these three where I want them and put a few wraps on to hold them in place. And I'm gonna take these other three over, spread them out a little bit, and wrap them down. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this down all the way. All right, and I have this, and I'm gonna take my scissor, and I'm gonna let these stick out about quarter of an inch past the tail of the marabou. So I'm going to let the marabou stick out and let these stick out just, like I say, about a quarter inch past. So I've got a little bit of flash in there. Next, I'm going to take a brass bead chain, medium size, and I'm going to bring my thread forward and tie them right behind the eye and I give 10 wraps on each side. I don't bother figurating. I just go 10 wraps. There's 10 on that side, then I hold the bead. Give it 10 on the other side. Right there. Now what I'm going to do is go around under the beads over the top of the shank a couple times nice and hard. Bring my thread back to where my thread wraps were here. These are nice and snug. And next, I'm gonna take some purple Palmer chenille in medium, which is this right here that I have. And I'm gonna clip just a small section off the end so I have some thread. You can see I've cut that, but I've left the thread on there. And I'm going to take the thread and let it stick over right here. Give it a couple wraps and then wrap it down. And then I bring my thread all the way forward 
to the eye again. And now I'm going to take my Palmer chenille. I'm going to use about five, six inches of it here. And I'm going to Palmer the material towards the tail, but I'm going to wrap the thread towards the eye. So I'm going to Palmer it back. And I'm always wrapping away from myself. Palmered back, wrap forward. So I'm going to continue to do that. This palmering back. As you can see there. there. I'm going to bring it right up behind the eyes. One more wrap here. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this up, just lay it between the eyes, and I'm going to take my thread behind the eyes and go around here. Then I'm going to take my fingers, pull this material out of the way, Give this 10 wraps. Take my scissor, clip off this end material that I don't need. Right there. Now I'm going to half hitch that off three times or whatever knot of your choice. But I like to put three to four knots in it. Okay, I have it there. Now I'm going to take just a drop of the very thin, fast-drying epoxy. Put it right on my thread wraps here. Right there. Bring it right in. This is a 10-second set. Let that set up for 10 seconds. While it's setting, I'm going to go ahead and Trim off my thread there. Cut that off. Now I'm going to turn that off a minute, turn it over. Put a drop also on the bottom. That way my threads are never going to come unraveled or done. Because you don't think about it, but they drag on the bottom and stuff. And the sand and stuff will wear right through them. So we'll set this off for another 10 seconds. Okay, now that was not difficult in any way, and now you have a nice backwater snook fly. Thank you.